All right, I will be I will be unfaithful to my wife just this one time. Love is in the air for Ultimate Valentine's. Get the legendary Cupid Hanzo bundle for a limited time. Load game? Wait, what is about to happen? Hold on, hold up, hold up. Are you ready to play this thing? No, let me get in there. Or should, no, tell me what it means. Tell me what it means. We're glad you asked. Oh, wait, I think I skipped it. Fuck it. So you were saying I should enjoy this thing and not rush off to update fan wikis with anything I read in here? We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Alright, I'm ready to play. What's your name? Loverboy6. Wait. No numbers? Loverboy6. Your name is Loverboy6. I'm ready. Set the scene. <laughs> what is about to happen here? It's Friday night in the big city. Damn, I keep skipping something accident. Alright, let's go with this. Mer I, 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 I'm just going to stop clicking. It's Mercy. Wait. No matter how many times you blink, she's still still there. And you're completely... Oh, we're lovestruck. We're no doubt lovestruck. We're lovestruck. Lovestruck. We're lovestruck. Why, why is everything keep skipping? What am I doing wrong? I'm so confused. I think the arrow's next to the dialogue. I don't know what's happening. Should I restart? Just the box. Should we restart Loverwatch? Alright, let's all right, let's 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 just back up and restart Loverwatch, alright? That was scuffed. Oh look, first time seeing this. Oh, Loverwatch. Oh my god. Love is in the air for ultimate Valentine's. Get the legendary Cupid Hanzo bundle for a limited time. Holy shit! We're just seeing this now? Wow, now with 30% more punctuation. Are you ready to play this thing? Let me play. Let's get in there, huh? Let's get in there. What's your name? What do you guys think our name should be? Loverboy6, maybe? Wait. You can't type numbers. Oh, okay. Let's just type out 6. Cool. Alright. Your name is Loverboy6. Continue? Yeah, let's set the scene. Let's do it. Alright, cool. Here we are. Wow! Overwatch Simulator. Lover, lover, Loverwatch. Crazy. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. Sometimes, that people is you. I just bombed open mic! It's particularly dark tonight. So dark, it'll make for quite the quite the dramatic reveal when, you're, when your eyes adjust and you see who's sitting at the table in the corner. Eyes adjusting. 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 Oh my. Oh my. Is that... Is that who I think it is? It's Mercy! Oh! Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there. And you're completely lovestruck. Aww. We're lovestruck. Didn't know you had a thing for perfect, brilliant, kind, and beloved philanthropists before. Well, Obviously you do. But your dating track record implies otherwise. Ooh? Oh, zap! Hold up. Hark. Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat on your palms? I am Cupid. The hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this, or are you hallucinating? Do not worry, you are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing. But maybe this hallucination can help you. Now tell me, are you in love? I think so. Nope, it's just my baseline anxiety. Hold up, you're not Cupid, you're Hanzo Shimada. 
Let's call him out on his bullshit. Hold up. You're on your bullshit. That's bullshit. From the free-to-play Overwatch, or the game Overwatch 2. Which I have, of course, played because I just recognized you as Hanzo Shimano. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured, I am Cupid, champion of love. However, it is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. What a coincidence. What a coincidence, dude. Indeed. Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I think, I think I'm feeling the signs of love right now. I think I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the love. It's kind of hard to tell. Where am I? The path to love is often confusing, but I fear not. I'm here to guide you through all its intricacies. What? It means I'm going to give you advice. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for clearing that up for me, man. So, do you wish to win the Heart of Mercy? Yes, I want to win the Heart of Mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about Mercy? How much do I know about Mercy? Is he actually setting up a trivia quiz here? Am I about to be put to the test? I am waiting. That's my unparalleled Mercy knowledge. Bring it on. Confidence. I hope it's well placed. What is Mercy's real name? Miss... I'm about to... I'm about to get my basketball. Ugh. Mrs. Loverboy 6, of course. Are you kidding me? Incorrect? Nah. Nah, that's bullshit. That's actually bullshit. What? Alright, whatever. Oh, Angela, like Angel. I just now got that. May the gods have mercy upon you. What is her favorite food? I am folding. Alright, let, 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 let's try to let's try to butter this up a little bit. I'm gonna go chocolate. Chocolate. Close, but not... Wait, no, they definitely set it up so you get every answer wrong. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. She loves Swiss... That wasn't an option. Okay, that's cool. There wasn't an option for Swiss chocolate. A shame. Now, next question. What is Dr. Ziegler's field of research? They're trying to make me lose. They're trying to make me lose. I'm trying to think. I'm not calling out the bullshit yet, or we're gonna lose her forever. Healing. Duh. No, this isn't rigged. I'm gonna win her. I'm gonna win her. Incorrect again. I do not think Dr. Ziggler would find your attitude appealing. She's a pioneer in applied nanobiology, more specifically, biotic technology. Same difference. In the matter of the heart, the details matter. I'm going to keep talking to Cupid. I'm going to keep talking to Cupid. I'm not ready to go over there. I'm not ready to go over there yet. I am always right. What? That, that's the most fucking Hanzo thing I've ever heard in my life. Do not worry. My magical powers will elevate you above your incompetence. Wait, I thought there was no magic in the Overwatch setting. No more questions. Okay. Cupid's a dick. Now, Mercy's a highly accomplished woman. What would impress her the most? I thought you said no more questions. After this one, tell me the most impressive thing about you. I'm a pretty nice person. I'm really funny. I'll tell... How many hours I clocked on Overwatch 2 Or can't I just say hi I'm not ready to say hi yet 
I would say I'm a pretty nice person, right? Flex the hours? No, I'm gonna tell her I'm a pretty nice person. I'm a pretty nice person. In this day and age, that is impressive. Why don't you show her how nice you are in front of everyone? I think I did it! Wait, no, I'm, I'm gonna get baited. I think I'm gonna get baited. I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. I'm nervous. He hands you the mic. The mic they use for open mic night at the Laugh Attic. That's not how nice... That's not how being nice works. Click. The spotlight illuminates you. Oh my god, why am I nervous? And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Ooh, gulp. Gulping IRL. Whispers. Say something nice. Uh... Your brain scrambles. Who's the nice person you know? Nicest person you know besides Mercy, of course. And what would they say? Visions of a space gorilla flood your brain. Winston. What would Winston do? The crowd clears her throats. Chairs squeak. Winston would tell a joke. A nice joke. Mercy, you want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? Or, why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? What do you guys think? I feel like I want to ask about the elbows. Why doesn't the surgeon? Two? I like two also. Elbows. Why doesn't the surgeon like operating on elbows? Mercy. You pause for dramatic effect. Pause. She swore to do no arms. Oh! Ah. Shoot my shot. That definitely worked. The audience's silence goes beyond more description. It is a living being, vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down on you with deadly intent. Then, Mercy laughs, yes! A full-on chain-snorting laugh. The exhilaration hits you like a damage-amplifying beam. A well-timed resurrect. I knew I was playing my cards right. She should probably get her sinuses checked though. Damn, toxic. Ew, shoot, shoots and scores. You sit down at a nearby table, glowing. <laughs> Out of the corner of your eye, Mercy stands and heads over to you. God, I'm so nervous. My, my hands are sweaty as hell. I got sweat on my palms. Ba-bump, ba-bump. Mercy, hello. What? Nah, we're shooting our shot. Hey, Dr. Ziggler. Corny, by the way. That's not how you pick somebody up. I just wanted to say that was a very good joke. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm glad it tickled your funny bone. That phrase is so strange. The funny bone isn't really a bone. <laughs> it's a nerve called the ulnar nerve and is responsible for the sensations in your fourth and fifth fingers, your palm, and... But of course, I understood your joke, which was also very good. Okay. Thanks. That ulnar nerve trivia was also really good. It wasn't humorous, though. Ooh. Has anyone ever told you that you're hilarious? You're smart and funny. OP. OP's kind of cringe, right? You're in public. I feel like you're trying to hit a girl, hit up a girl, or like, you know, get with a girl. I feel like you don't say, I feel like OP should never come out of your mouth, right? I feel like, I don't know, I, I've been in a relationship for 10 years, but if I, I feel like if I walked up to a girl and said something was OP, they'd be like, can you go away? Has anyone ever told you that you're hilarious? All right, let's keep, let's keep playing our cards right, all right? Let's keep playing our cards right. Let's keep playing our cards right. You're the first, wow. Sally, a, a doc, I can't talk. Doctor doesn't have many opportunities to be funny. Isn't laughter the best medicine? No, the best medicine lies in the biotic technology. Yeah, let's rewrite that saying that biotic tech is the best medicine. So fund it. 
doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but I prefer that version. It's been lovely chatting with you, truly. Would you be interested in joining me for dinner soon? She just asked me out. I think we need to know where we stand, right? We need to know where we stand. I should ask, right? I, I think I need to know where we stand. What? What if I join her and she thinks we're just friends? All right, like a date? She checks her pulse and waits. Two fingers on her neck and eyes on you. Is it hot in the comedy club or is it just you? Pulse elevated, so yes, a date. Yes! That was weird, but intriguing. I'd love. What if I wanted to say no? All right, fine. I'd love to join you. I beat level one. Ooh, level one in the bag. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now, and she would just resurrect you back. Ooh. Fantastic. I will meet you at Cafe Azor at Circuit Royale. Damn, Mercy's assertive. She asked me out. She picked the setting. And she walks. No. Floats away. You can't believe it. You're going to have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait a minute. Circuit Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? You did quite well. You anticipated her feelings and interests. You were off to a fine start. I mean, maybe you guys should be hitting me up for relationship advice. Ooh. All right. First date is finished, but the journey ahead is a long, is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, look at this, dude. Oh my god. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch is a very reasonably priced transatlantic train. I, that, that word shook me. You arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Monaco. Monaco, Monaco, whatever. Supercars zip by in the distance. The aroma of high-end dining wafts from nearby tables. The menu is in front of you and you're cursing yourself for skipping French class all those years ago. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner date, and Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe... Oh, no. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere she had to go. Maybe. Maybe she's just running fast and late. Come on, guys. Why do we have to assume the worst? Three minutes and 57 seconds. Four minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. Are you going to eat... You're going to need the breadsticks or just let them sit there. Nerf GA! That's a good one, actually. Ah, oh, she showed up. She showed up. I am so sorry. She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working on a new dissertation, and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Yo. Special thanks? Pause? Perhaps. How much you know about photon counting CT detectors? And how it relates to uh, nanobiology? You are treading upon dangerous ground. How about we talk it through dinner? I think I think I overstepped my boundaries. I got too excited. I hope you're good at making up believable scientific facts. Have you ordered yet? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know these words. This place does a fabulous binet de flor de courgettes. Knocked it out the park. I was nervous about reading that. I knocked it out the park. Fried zucchini flowers. Take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. Order the most expensive thing on the menu. Order, dude, I can't read these words. The Brescher Wesley, 
Order the chicken nuggets. Fidget with the menu. I feel like ordering the most expensive thing on the menu is a flex, but I feel like it, it makes it obvious you're trying to flex. You know what I mean? Chicken nuggets, though, make you seem like you're on a, on a budget. I'm going to order this because I don't know what it is. It seems fancy. Let's do it. Oh. Because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. I knew that. Like, I just didn't want to tell you guys. I knew what that meant. And this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. Ooh. I'm killing it. Do you like Brashear Wesley as well? Because I also love it. My god, I'm so good. I'm actually so good. It's the best breakfast. It is. Although we are having dinner. I don't let society's expectations dictate my preferences. Ooh, what a smug asshole. Me either. Just kidding. Bull Wesley arrives. Clusters of bright, happy berries and a trail of green and brown nuts and seeds on a bed of white mush. Ayo. Hey, Silence falls as you two eat. That awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you, sh you should converse or eat. Or talk while eating and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Cupid groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? So what have you been up to since Overwatch fell apart? Definitely not question three. If I ask question three, it's going to make her sad. Question three is going to make her sad. He does not want to talk about how Overwatch fell apart. I feel like we asked about hobbies, right? I think we asked about the hobbies. I feel like it's it's nice, light, easy conversation. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? And <laughs> how she lost all of her friends? That's what I'm saying. You can't do that. Let's ask what kind of hobbies she enjoys. I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. non canically of course. Like non -canon canonical Haley crystals? Canonical. 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 My favorite is the rose quartz. Represents love, healing, and compassion. Eh? Uh. It represents love, healing, and compassion, right? God, I'm so smart. Right! You high five Cupid. Rizzy looks at you, concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. Oh, I'm folding. I'm folding. My golly knowledge and love does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. Nah, we can fix the bag. We can fix the bag. Hold up. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old Latissimus <laughs> Dorsey. Uh. Alright. What does being a hero feel like? Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. I can't ask this question. These questions are setting me up to lose. These questions are actually setting me up to lose. The second one? I was thinking the first one. The second one? It tells her you care about work. Oh, I'm getting carried. I'm getting carried by women now. Women dip. Easy. Easy. This chat is OP. All right, we'll ask two. Okay, okay. Theory. Do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and machine learning? I'm not listening to chat anymore. Nope, you guys are gonna ruin my date. You guys are actually gonna ruin my date. Stop. I'm not asking you guys anymore. Of course, I read sci scientific journals for fun in my spare time. That's a fucking lie. To be honest, not really. I need to be honest. I need, I need to be honest. I need, I, it's about honesty. I have to be honest. I can't lie. Lying is not good on the first date. To be honest, not really. Oh. I'm, I'm losing her, guys. I'm losing her. I would change the subject to something. You can easily... All right, theory's banned. Nah, theory... No, who said to? Who said to? We need to start... We need to start timing people out. We need to start timing people out. 
But you just start telling people out. I'll change the subject to something you can easily understand. They are just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm going to ask this question and it's going to fail. I'm not asking it. Nope. What does being a hero feel like? Nope. I'm not asking it. Because I, I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I'm not asking it. Nah, they're setting you up to lose. It's chalk. You know, no one believes me when I say that it's not that great as people think. The world saw me as Mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Ziegler. I knew it. I, they're, they're, no, they're, they're making me lose. And I am not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being Mercy if the world needs her. Then I would be there. But I wish... I wish they would also welcome Angelo. Nah, we fumbled. Bags fumbled. Wow. Whoa! What the... Yo! What? I need you, Angela. You like being in the center of attention, huh? Fidget with your fork. I need you, Angela. He choked on her sip of water. I'm scared. He discreetly slid a napkin towards her. You okay? Y yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. She looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering. I'm volunteering in a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Cairo, Egypt? I literally can't miss it unless I stop here. She beams at you and soars away, leaving a lingering scent of perfection. Well, perfect to you. Okay, that's weird. TSB round three, baby. One way or another, that date is complete. Why does it sound like Pokemon music? Thanks so much. How did our night go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness will you lose her heart now. But there's still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Third date awaits. Let's fucking go. Loverboy6 about to spend 10k on flowers for the wedding? Yeah, just don't tell my wife. I'm being very unfaithful. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat. As she tends to patients, you help as much as you can. Hallways, mopped. Paperwork, filed and sorted. Supplies, stocked. You sit down in the break room. Exhausted. Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. Ooh. Good posture. Posture check. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee. But it's definitely not quality coffee. Her genius does not extend to the bare story of arts. If such a thing exists. Drinking enthusiastically. Put the cup down discreetly. Let me make another pot. Yours smells like tortured coffee beans to death. Ugh. Drink it, drink it. All right, we'll drink it, we'll drink it, we'll drink it. You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. Do you like it? Just what the doctor ordered. Ew, I'm killing it. I'm actually killing it. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. 
Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Am I about to shit myself? Yeah, we're gonna shit ourselves. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. She leaves. Her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Go back to volunteering. I guess I don't have a choice. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your teeth. You're quite the brave one. Oh! Special guest appearance! It's gonna be fucking Hanzo. You recognize that quiet Rai voice. You turn around, and it's... Anna! Yo! Anna's here! Wait, am I about to start hitting on Anna? No one has experienced Angela's coffee come out smiling on the other end. Anna, the Anna Amari, legendary sniper, Overwatch Strike Squad member, the bane of most of your matches. What is she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who was this? The boyfriend, surely. This is Loverboy6. My. She plushes, Pink Mercy, TM Pink. Pause champ. Date. I'm Angelo's date. I can't believe this volunteering stuff got me a chance to meet Anna Amari. I'm just helping out Angela for the day. It's my date. Ooh, let's go. Ooh. Anna's eyes pin Mercy in place. Dr. Angela Ziegler, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It is extremely hot here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals in their final moments. I've always told Fariha to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, Lover Boy 6. <laughs> Lover Boy 6. <laughs> she leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. Well done! You've impressed Anna Omari. Should I call him out on his bullshit? I'm about to call him out on his bullshit. Where the heck were you? Where the heck were you, man? Come on. Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is, you impress a close friend. Honest opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Ziggler. I'm all, fuck you. And speaking of fate, are you ready to see how your journey ends? I'm pretty calm. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty confident. We will see. Only shows up when you done the heavy lifting? Exactly! Fuck that! Are you kidding me? Fuck that, dude. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. I know this is set up so you lose. Run away. Now nah, we're gonna follow. Angela leads you to the top floor of the clinic. Where there's a rooftop terrace with stunning views of Cairo. Wow. Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often, after a long shift. You both take in the view of the city. The now sparkling orange from the setting sun in the high-rise apartments and freeways gather around its shores. So what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am. And instead of judgment or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world. It makes me want to believe in it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above, as I do in all its beauty. Am I about to go flying? Oh, I can say not. Wait, I can dump her? I can dump her? We're this far. We have to win her over. I feel like she's not appreciating me enough. I could use a little more appreciation. Considering I just traveled the world for her. But I would go anywhere with you.
The Valkyrie's wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. Ooh. You've embarked on the journey of love. You found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy, forever and always. I'm a lover and a fighter! Ew, we did it! We won! We won mercy! Is that it? We just won mercy and it ends? We won! We did it! Yo! Dude, 10 out of 10! She might be Dr. Ziggler, but I'm Dr. Rizzler. And we will live happily ever after the end.